What's up, Cunyons? Back with another review. We're gonna finish it. Well, I won't say finish. We're gonna uh, continue on on our old reviews. Right now, we're gonna do the Old Tub Bottle and Bonded Kentucky Straight Bourbon Whiskey Distilled and Bottled by James B. Bean Distilling Co. Uh, it's unfiltered for a more robust, robust flavor. Before Jim Bean Bourbon and Bean Family made the Old Tub and unfiltered Bottle and Bond Bourbon, Old Tub was the foundation for what would become the world's number one bourbon whiskey. This limited edition bottle is a tribute to the groundbreaking whiskey. Here's a close-up of the bottle. And this being a bottle and bonded is 100 proof and is a pain in the butt to pull the cork on. It's hard to get a grip on that thing. All right, let's give it a little pour. We'll read the back while we wait. Color on this is a little bit lighter than the last one we reviewed. Uh, definitely has more of a, a yellowy, orangey color to it. Alright, uh, back label, Jim Bean's Old Tub is bottle and bonded Kentucky straight bourbon whiskey, just like the original Old Tub. It has been carbon or chill filtered. It has not been carbon or chill filtered. Let me phrase that. Uh, only quality screen to remove bits of barrel wood. It's the next big or best thing to thriving leaving the barrel yourself. You may notice some haziness when you add ice. Uh, think of it as an indicator of true full flavor of this bourbon, which basically means it's non-chill filtered and so on like that. If you uh, see a lot of whiskeys, a lot of scotch, they, they chill filter their stuff and that way you don't get haziness when you add ice. Honestly, that's a poor practice. I don't think you should do that. You should never chill filter. All right, uh, let's get straight into this. Let's try the nose. Mm. Caramel vanilla. Not much alcohol. Just caramel vanilla. Pretty basic, pretty simple. Uh, really not much else other than that. When you think of bourbon, that's pretty much it. Caramel, caramel vanilla. It's not very uh, outgoing on the nose, that's for sure. I know a lot of people really like this bottle. And look, I picked this bottle up for 15 bucks. It was on sale. I think the normal price is $23.99. I picked it up for $14.99. So, man, you really cannot go wrong. If you want just something to chill and drink on. And um, the the nose, like I said, is bar uh, caramel vanilla. Ain't nothing wrong with that. That's good. It ain't, it ain't really nothing special, nothing strong. The alcohol is really good on it. The, the oak is real subtle. It's a good drink right there. All right, cheers. Let's, uh, let's go in for the sip. Caramel, vanilla, you get that little bit of alcohol burn. You get the wood tannins a little bit towards the end of it. Mm. It does have a creaminess to it. And you can get... It's not strong or harsh at all, but you can definitely taste the wood tannins, the unfilteredness to it, just the rawness to it. But it's not harsh. It's just smooth and good. I think the more that you sip on it, the better and more the flavors, they get a little richer as you go with it. It's not really complex at all, but it is really good. Uh, there is definitely a little creaminess to it, uh, some richness, some depth. It has a good, uh, good finish. It keeps 
it goes on for a good little ways and but it's just simple basic you know caramel vanilla as for nuttiness it does have a little bit of nuttiness kind of like Jim Bean products normally do have but it's not overwhelming nuttiness that like you'd get from a lot of Jim Bean products I, I'm not actually a big Jim Bean fan when it comes to that because I, I don't like the nuttiness much but this is it's, uh, there's more in my wheelhouse. I, I prefer it, say, over just regular Jim Bean. Mm. I can definitely see myself keeping this around, especially at that price tag. Uh, Kuyon score, man. Uh, it's not very complex, but man, you can't really beat the price. Fifteen bucks, even at twenty twenty-five bucks or so, it wouldn't be too bad. Um. I'm gonna say six seven five. I know that's not the highest score in the world, but it's really not bad. I, I would definitely pick this up all day long for the price. Definitely just to have around. Uh, I've been drinking a lot of uh, whiskeys on the rocks lately. Whenever I just want something to kind of relax and chill while I'm, you know, either building or working on something outside, got my nice big Norland rock glass that I got for Christmas right here. So. Put a big old ice cube in there, throw some of that on there, and I think that'd be brilliant. It'd be great. I haven't tried it yet with this one. I've been drinking uh, the Evan Williams and the uh, JT Mellick uh, cash drink on the rocks. Oh, my God. That's awesome. Well, I know we don't do a lot of rock reviews or, uh, you know, that type of review. We do everything pretty much straight, but if you want a you know, few ideas, there you go. I think there might be a little lemon there on the back end. Not sour, just that little sweet lemon, like a lemonade. Mm. It's that little bit of citrus. I really do like this. This is not bad. So 675 might seem low, but for what it is, and like I said, there's not a lot of depth to it, but it's, it's definitely an enjoyable drink. But, uh,. That's it, guys. Like, subscribe, and uh, we'll check y'all out on the next video. Cheers.